What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative. And today, people, I will be reviewing Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 34, Opening. So, how I felt on this episode, I felt like they dragged on for so long. Like, when Eren had woken up, he saw that he had no arms. He saw that Raynor and Bramal were standing right above him. And Ymir was right beside him. And... I was like, okay, so we're going to get some juicy details on why they did what they did. But all throughout the freaking episode, and it just was annoying me, that we find out that Rainer has some bipolar psychological issue. And I'm like, okay. And it got to a point where Rainer was going on and on about the duties of a soldier and all this. And I'm like looking at him like, brother, explain to me the reason why. And Vermont had his mouth zipped. And Aaron had mentioned, yo, Vermont, don't you remember when I told you how I felt when my mom got eaten because you kicked the freaking hole in the wall? Vermont was like, yeah, I thought I did. I thought I had feelings for you. I was like, what? so you guys are cold and hard heartless and Ymir and Aaron was thinking of a way in order for him to escape but since they're in the forest of Maria it was pretty much a titan cesspool so there were plenty of titans at the base of the tree that they were in and even if they tried to transform and escape those titan will those titans would all jump them and have their way with them so they just so they said, you know, we're gonna move. We're gonna start moving once nightfall hit. I was like, so we gotta deal with the bipolar psychopath, Vermont, the dude that don't want to see Jack. And Aaron is starting to throw a little temper tantrum because he wants to figure out like what's going on. Because you know, I praised him on the um him versus the um armor titan all before but now Aaron's getting to a point where he's getting frustrated I understand the reason why he's getting frustrated because these guys are the one that caused all this mess I'm like yo can we just get some information on on something please because I was like hyped for this episode and then Ymir had asked them what about the monkey and when she said monkey she was referencing the beast I, so I was like, yeah, yeah, what what about this monkey? And it was like Rainer didn't want to answer any more of her questions. And then that was when um Rainer and Rainer had proposed an ultimatum. Either you come with us and ensure the life of Krista, which is Historia, or you can go with Aaron and put her life at stake. So I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, dog. So, I'm praying Ymir is not going to turn on Aaron at this point. Because I understand, you know, she wants to protect her friend. But, dude, these guys can't be trusted. We didn't find out not that much about their, like, homeland. Because I thought we were going to find out why did they want to go home so badly. I want to say, and then they also said that there was no hope. That the Beast Titan. So I was like thinking, so is the Beast Titan creating more Titans? But guys, I don't know. This episode, it, it threw me for a loop because the, it dragged on to me. It dragged on a little bit too much. I wanted to like get information about what's going on, but we had to deal with Rainer's bipolar, him him losing losing his mind and coming to thinking that he was still a soldier when he actually was so let me know what y'all thought about the episode in the comment section below i'll give this episode 8 out of 10 animation everything else was beautiful but the pacing it dragged on for like ever but thank you for watching operatives move out